Welcome back. So in this video, I will be working on the engine nacelles of the Y-Wing. So the first part I'm going to work on is the front portion of the nacelles, which includes this engine part here, uh, where this outer ring is a bluish gray color, and the nose cone of the nacelle with a yellow stripe around the bottom here. So these have already been painted with my white body color and like the nose cone of the ship I'm using the liquid latex or liquid mask to um, make areas where I want the paint to be chipped away and I will be using the same paint that I mixed for the nose cone so I want to start out here by airbrushing around the area that's supposed to be blue and you can see both of them have been airbrushed here And as with the nose cone, I'm going to uh, lightly scrape away the latex revealing the white body paint underneath, making the blue paint look as if it's been chipped away. And here they both are, all chipped up. Next I've painted the nose cones black. Again, we'll be using the liquid mask to mark areas where I want the white body color chipped away, revealing black underneath. Here they are spray painted with the white body color and once again rubbing away to reveal the black underneath as if it's been chipped away. And here we have them both chipped up. And I'll be using the yellow that I had mixed myself for the nose cone. I have the cone taped off and I'm just going to spray around the yellow stripe. Remove my tape here. And there we have my yellow stripe around the nose of the nacelle. And then the nose just fits right over this engine area. I will not be painting the inside of that engine area like I've seen others do because I have no intention of having it removed. And it's on to the rest of the nacelles. So I'm going to start working on the starboard side one first by removing all the pieces needed to assemble it. And here is where I'm going to be lighting the engine and this whole area here I need to remove so that the engine light can shine through. And then I'm going to have to cut a hole here for the wires for my LED so that uh, when these two fit together my LED will shine through the area that's been removed. So I'm drilling a hole out here in this portion for my wires to go through for my LED and I'm drilling out the center of this engine area just to get it started and then I'll be taking an exacto blade and I'm just gonna start going around and removing all the excess and I'll be doing that until I have something that looks like this where it's open for the engines and with the photo etch I had purchased, there are some pieces here for light to shine through for the end of the engines. So I'm going to carefully cut this out. And then I'm going to glue this to the end of the engine section. So just a little quick test to make sure it's going to work like I want. Just running my LED inside of here really quick. And then I'm going to take the engine portion where I've glued that end piece on so that the light will shine through. And 
And just fire it up to make sure that it lights up. And as you can see, it works great. So moving on, there's these pieces here which go on the sides of this engine portion. So I'm going to cut those out and get them put into position around the diameter of the engine. And there we have it. So it's time to prime all the pieces and then give them all a coat of black. So here we have the pieces that connect the engine nacelles to the body of the Y-Wing. And these two pieces just go together like so and then they will connect into the nacelle. So I need to remove areas in here so that I can run my wires for the LED. And I'll be using these super thin wires because um, it's the only thing I have thin enough that will actually go through there. So I need to remove some plastic so these can fit through here. So I've trenched out this portion here, um, rounded out the edge there, cut out on either side of this connecting piece, trenched out here, again cut on either side of this connecting piece, and then rounded out the end here for the wires. And you can see how it's kind of trenched out. So because the wires come through here and connect into the nacelle, I need to drill a hole through the nacelle portion for the wires to come through. And you can see when these are snapped together, there's my area for the wires to go through. And when it's snapped into the nacelle, you can see right through there. I also need to cut out a portion of plastic in the nacelles in the middle here where my LED and wires need to go through right in this area. So I'm going to do that, just snip off some of the tips of this plastic since it's sharp. It's easy to just cut off and remove, no drilling or anything necessary. And you can see that I've made an area here for my wires to fit through. So it's time to give these guys a coat of my body color. And here they are all painted. And I masked off the end of the engine area here, which I actually want to keep black. And you can see how you can see through there, and my LED will shine. So here is my little NeoPixel LED, and I've uh, soldered on some of my super thin wires. And you can see through the engine area there. The LED just fits, so it's time to run my wires through the hole that I've drilled. So I just run these guys right through there, pull them through, and I'm going to use a little bit of Elmer's glue here on the end just to hold the uh, LED in place so it doesn't move around and my wires won't accidentally snap off or anything. So I've got my LED here, the Elmer's glue has dried and it's secured to this area. Time to put the engine piece over the LED.
Then I need to take my wires and feed them through the side of the nacelle here. And then fit the rest of the sides of the nacelle around that engine portion. And we got those two sides attached and now it's time to attach the other two remaining sides of the nacelle. And there we have all four sides of the nacelle secured around the engine. Then there's this little engine cover piece that goes on the end here. And now it's time to run the wires through the uh, arm here in the area that I've trenched out. So I'm holding it with a clamp here. I need to keep the wires pretty taut as I try to get them in place inside the trench area. And through the miracle of editing Looks like I did it in my first try, but it actually took about four times before I could actually get it correct. But here we have it attached with my wires coming out. And then it's time to put the nose cone onto the front of the nacelle. So here are the next set of pieces, the support pylons from the nacelles and the uh, steering plates at the back. So it's time to get these cut out. And here we have them all cut out and at this time it's just ready to give them a coat of black paint and then the body color. And I've painted them now. and. Um, I didn't try to do a really heavy coat of the body color because I actually want some of the black to kind of bleed through a little bit like it's dirty. So here we have the back portion. These are the uh, steering plates. And once they're assembled, these little guys go inside the uh, back portion here. And there we have the plates inside. So now it's time to uh, attach the support pylons to the nacelles. And there I've got the pylons attached to the nacelle and then it's time to attach the steering plate portion to the rear of the support pylons. And here we have a fully assembled engine nacelle with the pylons and plates. And just like magic, both of them are assembled, wired with LEDs inside. And at this point, I'm ready to do a little lighting test to make sure they still all work okay. And it's working. The engines are slowly warming up. And then they continue to warm up till they get to the point of the full red engines as in the movie. And then they start to flicker a little bit. So there we have the build of my engine nacelles with the uh, LED lighting. Next up will be the main body.